Domestic violence can have a devastating effect on families and often occurs behind closed doors. The East Sussex Safer Communities Partnership runs a number of schemes to help victims and reduce this often unseen crime. I'm Natalie Coleman and I'm the Senior Independent Domestic Violence Advisor for East Sussex, which means that I support victims of domestic violence that are going through the court process. Today I'm going to see Victoria, who's one of my clients, and we're going to talk to her about sanctuary for her new property, which is where um, safety measures such as extra locks on the doors and windows are placed on the property to help keep them safer. It's been a long case because it's gone to the Crown Court and so we've been working with her for a number of months now and um, throughout that we've arranged for her and the rest of the family, her young children, to receive some counselling for the traumatic experience that they've had. We've helped her find a new property and we're now helping her to move into that property by adding extra safety measures so that she has a bit of peace of mind when she's in there. Well, after I left my old house, after leaving from domestic violence, I had no confidence whatsoever. And doing things like sorting a house out for myself and actually going to court would have been very, very... I wouldn't have probably been able to do it. I probably would have backed down and actually let him get away with what he did. When we went to court, it's like, my mum was going to drive up there, but you took the pressure away from us, from you know, getting up there and finding our way and you knew the way and you took us up there so we were less nervous and we went and did the court visit, um, the witness service, we went round and... So you found the pre-court visit really it valuable was, then? Yeah, I'm glad I did that because otherwise I'd have been a nervous, even more nervous than what I was before but at least I knew the layout and where I'd have to go and about the curtain and things like that. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, did you find having the special measures useful for the court case to have the screens up? Yes, because uh, I don't know how I'd have done it without that there. I wouldn't have been able to speak if he would have been able to see me. I'd have lost all nerve completely. But it was nice that I, when I went there before that I could see that only a certain amount of people could actually see me and knowing that he couldn't see me made me feel a lot more safer, being able to talk and saying what happened. In relation to, to hate crime and domestic violence, that's one of the significant areas for us. We've got to protect the people who are weak and vulnerable, and that's clearly our responsibility. But we can do that by working again in partnership with other agencies to provide the support mechanisms, the referral processes, to provide individuals and families at a real time of need that necessary support. Hate crime is any crime where any individual feels they've been targeted because they are different. These crimes can not only impact individuals, but also whole communities. The new hate crime service is being introduced by East Sussex Safer Partnership uh, in recognition that hate crime affects, albeit a small amount uh, of people, but has a significant impact on their lives. What we hope to achieve um, is increased reporting of this crime so that people feel more comfortable reporting to the hate crime reporting champions that we hope to have within their own communities as opposed to the police. We hope that by doing this, along with some other measures, we will be able to support people through the criminal justice system if necessary. There's a lot of help out there, a lot more than what there used to be from what I've heard, and there's always people there to help you through these things.